Thank you, Wendy. And um, this is very, very much a, a quick overview of project management and how we're seeing the melding of um, predictive and, and uh, other life cycles, uh, software development life cycles. Um, some people will call them rolling waves. Some people call them agile. We'll also be taking a look at Scrum. But there are a lot of similarities. And as a person that started the journey many, many years ago and has done project management very scalable and then got into the total quality management, uh, movement, I think it's very interesting to see how all of these things are coming together. I recently attended uh, another seminar for Scaled Agile, and I started to see there that from a organizational perspective, we're seeing um, many, many different styles of project management coming together and being used as appropriate. So what you're about to see is very much an overview, and I could stretch this out to a workshop to be all day long, but what you're going to get is an overview and a very fast overview as we go forward here. Um, let me see if it'll go ahead and advance the slide here. There we go. So. Um, kind of covered uh, what we're going to cover, but it is very much an accidental profession. Generally, people get into project management by the boss saying, come over here, uh, you've got some spare time, and now you're a project manager. Most people don't get any formal training. They didn't get any in high school. They don't even know how to set goals and objectives and prioritize and make decisions. Uh, likewise, a lot of it for many years has been the same in colleges and universities. So the certifications have been kind of picking up a lot of the slack. And so we're going to look at uh, Project Management Institute's uh, PM uh, 101. And then I'm going to go through some of the key things that I think gives, give you the most bang for the buck, provide some of the biggest value if you are doing project management. Of course, you'd have to take a, a, a more application course, maybe two to four days to get uh, all of the information that you would need. And, and it's, it's only as good as applying it, so it's good to practice. And then we're going to take a look at um, kind of what's happening right now in the industry as far as Agile, when to use Agile, Scrum, and some of the other uh, more adaptive approaches, Lean and Kanban, uh, very quickly. And then we'll talk about the key course takeaways. So we're going to cover on a tremendous amount of information quickly today. And um, so hang on, get ready. It'll be a little bit like a rodeo. I keep getting this coming up here, so I'm not sure if I have to go down like this. Okay. So the accidental profession, as I was mentioning, I'm having problems going up and down here. Generally speaking, you should look at who has the skill set and who has the experience. And just because maybe somebody has a certification doesn't necessarily mean that um, they have a piece of paper, but it doesn't necessarily mean they, they know how to do project management. And so when I look at project management, I, I think that people have to know how to, uh, to use a metaphor. They have to manage a project of taking an aircraft carrier, maybe from San Diego to Singapore, uh, and that's more predictive and certainly not very agile like a small um, a, a small boat would be like a PT boat or some of the sorties that are flying off the flight deck. But it's good to understand that you have this. Um, uh, uh, let me go ahead and turn the. I'm going to go ahead and turn the uh, video off here because I'm getting a message. So maybe it's maybe it's uh, causing audio problems too. So let me know. Um, so we tend to look at who is available more than who is qualified. And lots of times we set people up for uh, failure. As the manager of project managers for the state of Texas in their MIS department, I had several project managers that were reporting to me. And a lot of times what would happen is we had some of the more experienced and good project managers, and they were already assigned. And then other new projects would be would come uh, available to work on, and we would look more towards the people that were available rather than looking at were they trained, were they ready to take on a project like that. And so I have the little picture here, and uh, you, we are broadcasting from Texas, so. I have this picture of rodeo project management where I thought a lot of people just hang on to the steer or hang on to the horse as long as they can, and hopefully they won't get kicked in the head as they go forward. Try and see if I can get this. 
I'm still having some issues here, Wendy, with WebEx. So, um, as far as advancing the slides, one day I was kind of sitting and I thought, you know, we can make this pretty easy. When I look at project management, I kind of thought of that commercial from Papa John's, better, better ingredients, better pizza. And I started to look at some of the people that were in my organization and I thought, well, some of them are trained, some of them are not trained, and the people who were uh, good at being these process experts, which a good project manager is a process expert because they're good at managing intelligence. So better people, better process. Well, what happens when you have better people, more trained people, and you have better process, then you're releasing a better product. But even more than that, according to total quality management, you're also having an impact on the uh, the environment uh, where you work. So on the Project Management Institute, uh, PMP exam and CAPM exam, they call that the enterprise environmental factors. But there are capability maturity models out there and organizational process maturity models that are out there. Boeing noticed that when they started to apply project management and more consistent methodology uh, over the over uh, within the people uh, within their organization, they were able to do twice as much work in half the time with half the people. So there is a good return on investment for being this not a, a subject matter expert but a process matter expert. And so we look at how can we increase the maturity level, if you will, the process maturity level within the people so we can provide better processes which are part of the standards that Project Management Institute and Scrum and um, SAFE have, for instance, and that produces the better product and also has an aspect on, or also has an Im uh, impact on the um, kind of the, the, the overall uh, morale of the organization. So. I think that there's a lot of overlap between quality people, quality process, quality product, and then quality place as well, uh, the environment. When you look at what some of the cross-cutting knowledge and skills are that the Project Management Institute believes are so important, we look at the fact that a project manager generally has to get things done without formal authority. So they have to lead, uh, lead the people but manage the project. And a great way to lead the people is be influential. And what I like to, I like to use a term called being ask assertive or being the ask ASK master. In other words, the master at asking questions to get people to buy in. You're a lot better to get consensus and you're a lot better to get commitment if rather than tell people what to do, you ask them to buy in and you, you try to get that commitment. So when you look at these cross-cutting knowledge and skills, and I'm not going to read all of the slides off, there's a lot of information here, but you'll... Hi there, I hope you enjoyed that last clip. My name is Michael Maloudis, and if you'd like to watch the full 60 minutes of that last webcast, while also gaining complete unlimited access to our entire library of IT learning, simply visit our subscribe page at greatpro.org slash subscribe. Unlimited annual access is $199 per year, but if you use the coupon code learn to earn you can drop that membership fee to just $149. That's less than $13 per month for unlimited access to over a thousand hours of on-demand career development, covering the entire spectrum of IT management best practices, including business analysis and requirements, software development, quality and testing, risk management, process improvement, project management, and even digital transformation. But your membership doesn't just give you unlimited access to our vast learning library. You also get free access to our mobile app, as well as direct access to our network of over 300 of the world's leading IT consultants, all of whom are dedicated to putting practical knowledge at your fingertips so that you can learn more and earn more. I hope you will join me in becoming a member of the great IT professional and advancing your career with us. And if you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button above so that you get notified whenever we publish new free webcasts each week of the year. Thank you for your time and best wishes for your continued success.